Amber Alert's about to go off on everybody's phones. What is up, you guys? It is... What day is it? I don't know. It's the first. Is that a Monday? Is it Monday? Someone tell me what day it is. It's a Monday. See. Monday. So... You can see my yellow roots when I turn that way. Don't mind those. Hey guys, it is moi, it is Erica, and Jeff is right over yonder turning off all the Amber Alert notices that we are getting because Amber Alerty things are happening. There's just sirens going off all over Dallas, you guys. You're going to hear them. Be prepared during this live feed to hear some sirens. We do live right across the street from the police station, and Gosh. there are protests tonight. Hopefully they'll stay peaceful. As far as I know, last night was a very peaceful protest in Dallas. They did put out the National Guard, and we did have curfew, curfew that started at 7 p.m. tonight as well. Uh, there is a demonstration at... The jail right now which i'm keeping an eye and an ear on just in case anything crazy happens because right across the street is where they're probably take it to next and so we're they watching were, for that we were over here those people went over to the over to that i jail. know but if they're trying to extend the curfew area and push them off of that property then they can't come over here well there is see. an angry will there is a way but we'll see Probably not. I'm just saying. I'm watching the situation. And uh, we are artists till death. Usually things aren't this hectic and crazy. But we bring it to you live every possible day. No matter what goes on. Hello everyone. Hello. So glad to see you guys. Uh, so Jeff's going to be working on... Are you giving her the same name? Well, it's basically, like, because the first one was just a study. Like, that was just, like, to see what it was going to look like, to see what I was going to do. Okay. So, this thing is, ugh, You okay? Yummy. <laughs> uh, that was Bowie. Nope. Still no. He's right there, though. Um, so, uh, that is too close. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, I'm sorry, Sandra. It oh, yeah. is I here. To, need to put um, this down. Yes, happy Pride to everyone. It is as live as it can be. Every time we're live, it is ultra live. Um, ultra, tonight is not resin. Tonight is art. Just well, other arty things. Other arty. Thought Trump called for the whole USA curfew at 7. I don't think the whole USA curfew. I don't know. I didn't watch. Maybe it is the whole world curfew at 7. I don't know. But um, tonight for this piece, it's going to be charcoal, gold leaf. That's it. And maybe chalk marker, you said. Oh, no. I'm not doing any chalk. Well, then I have to change the title of the video. Anyways, stay tuned because um, it's an awesome piece and I hope to teach you guys some things about portraiture. Portraiture. Do wow. Ta-da. What have you done on this piece up to this point? Oh, what have I done? I started it with airbrush. Um, I normally do airbrush. Um, I know what I what I've been normally doing is starting out in like chalk or charcoal um, to get just the dark parts um, you see all these dark parts like the main dark parts I start just by hitting those areas uh, with just a light charcoal uh, and then I come back in with a like a 
watered down black with a paintbrush and kind of do a wash over this so that those parts get a little darker and then I have some sort of little bit mid-tone. I hope that's what it's called. Um, and then you kind of, uh, when you wash this, when you, you do this wash, it'll darken your, your background, your whatever, all of this. And then uh, what it'll do is it'll kind of wash away some of that dark so that it's all one kind of a one black and white looking portrait. I mean, just the beginning. And then you, like it's not just stark white with black. Then you have this gray tone over the whole thing. And then you go in and you darken in all the really dark parts and then give it that, all the detail. Um, and then you can erase or add white for the highlights. Um, and that's what I've done to this. Um, I've used sandpaper on this. I use paint. Use white paint um, just to give it some texture. I, obviously, you can see through here, through her hands, over here, um, and just a huge, just white wash. But I like it like this, but I don't like that this background is the same as her. Yeah, it's very like singular tonal. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray this down with most likely just this uh, matte medium, just a flat mat by rust um, wherever there's chalk I know that there's a bunch of chalk on here um, like black like solid black uh, yeah like solid black um, I've pretty much like made it all darker uh, made smoothed it in I did a little detail in the hair Went in with a very like very dark black. I wonder if I already did I already spray this? It feels like I've already sprayed this, but oh, did you go over what uh, materials you have laid out on that table, right, Chunder? Oh no, I haven't done with it. There's just some that are a little bit heavier than others. Um, no, I haven't. So this is the. This is the stuff I'll be using tonight for to darken the background in. Um, I was going to just blacken the background, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to make it solid black. Um, so I'm going to use this charcoal powder, which is pretty dark, but it'll just give it a little bit more. Like it's very light when you put it on. It's just it's just very light. Um, And then the more you add, the darker it gets. Um, and then I have this super dark, like super black, uh, black pastel that I might just put a couple, like how you do, how you do stuff like this, just to give it some texture with a really dark. Um, and then I'll probably spray it again with the matte spray. And then I'm going to take this sizing, which I'm very nervous about. I'm going to put it on something a little bit larger like like this area so I can take this brush dip it just dip this much into I'm not going to soak it because I don't want the whole thing for all that basically it's glue to come off onto my board I just want certain I just want it to be very paintbrushy look like it's like very like some parts will be thick some parts will be very thin um, and let that dry and then put the gold leaf on it. You trimmed that brush, didn't you? Yeah, I, I took scissors and, and just kind of cut we into it. Give a, like a makeup tutorial style. This like, is what a brush looks like. Oh, yeah, this is kind of, this is what it did look like. It's just, I mean, this is just a really crappy brush uh, and I just made it crappier. And I just cut it inside. <laughs> Just like that, just kind of, just to thin it out, so it's not a solid. Because if I were to, if I were to dip this in that sizing and put it on there, it would just be a solid paint stroke, and I don't, I don't want that. So um, we'll that's see how, how that trim goes. eyelashes, by the way. 
fake eyelashes. So first of all, um, so that this stuff sticks, this is contact paper. You can get this from. Um, you can see where. Yep. This is the stuff that the cat's knocked over. Oh, Y'all. Our cats are addicted to gold leaf. Where I don't even. They're not addicted to. It's over here. I t I put it out of the way. They this get on this table, ruined. and like put their little paw in the jar that we have all the extra. Well, because it's so fine and it moves, and they probably chase it. They Molly Shannon it. Super stop. They do, and then they knock it over. Well, and let me see if this. Like I know this got wet. I don't know if the actual underneath. It is regular. I thought it might not. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on the blind so yeah, you I'll put it on the side. I'm going to see if this sticks. That's strange, Clara. Did someone sign into your Google account and kick you off? I was ready for you to throw it at me. Wow. I can't even see. Oh, man. I thought it was closer than that. All right. That's what he so, said. Now, well, okay, like I said, this is just regular clear contact paper. Like, this is what it looks like. I put it on the on the board to see what, uh, if it would stick, and it sticks. As you can see, it takes off some of the charcoal. I was worried if there was, if there was a lot of charcoal on there that uh, this might not stick. But Bowie. it does. So, I'm just going to put this part right here. It's the perfect size. I'm not going to get this like super dark. I'm just going to, I'm just protecting this so that when I cut this out, I'll peel this piece out. Can we see this? Uh, yes. When I peel this piece out and then I can just take uh, this thing here, this is just a rag, another rag inside and I just tape it so it's a, a soft. I don't know what it's called, just something soft. So that it's Fishing. not just a hard edge. Uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna dab some of that charcoal on there and just kind of move it around to make it a little dark to light. And I'll probably, you know, be able to see some strokes over here, but I might take a rag and blend it all in. We may have I to just, adjust the camera a little bit. I just want this to be a little darker so that she pops out and then the, the gold leaf will stand out over that. Be some great depth doing that. Yeah. Was it Shane? Under curfew, huh? None where I live. Yeah, we're all in timeout because kids came into our house and not our house. I'm sorry for <laughs> on Facebook, I made the analogy that kids came into our house, wrecked shop, and left, and now we're in timeout. And some people took that quite literally as we had rioters come into our home and our shop and wreck it. Not what happened. Um, I'm going to have to change that camera angle because all I can see is a Ritterhoff angle. I can't reach it from here. Yeah, they can see it better if, if that's okay for you to stand like that. Um, and yes, I use Amory Ritterhoff as a descriptive term for when you your head gets in the way because I love this lady. She does amazing artwork. She is so talented. Well, that, was, that was one of the first ladies we watched. We watched her every morning we binge watched her stuff she does acrylic mostly uh acrylic pours she's hilarious she's very talented tends to get her beautiful red hair in the way for this area yeah it's a little you have uh, uh you need to turn it in towards the light the no, other end okay it's good um how far up are you going are you going all the way into the here? No, I'm just going to go right here and I'm just going to... Okay. You'll see, this stuff isn't like jet black. It's not going to go 
like how black this stuff is. It's just, and then I can control that with another rag and uh, lighten it. Brandon's in here said, what's Jeff drawing? Is that supposed to be you or no? Um, I would love to have her muscle tone on her shoulder. I can't do the pose. I've never done this, so. I can do the furrow, though. I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to go in and do it here. Um, question, Jeff and Erica, why are all your work, why does all your work look so perfect? Do you ever have any fails? Um, Debbie, she does have beautiful head of hair. Um, so, Afrin, we do have fails. We have fails often. Um, the thing about artwork is that to call a piece a fail is kind of like a relative term and something that maybe we wouldn't consider a a piece of artwork someone else may consider um, quite lovely. So it's all relative. Something we may not like, someone would like. And conversely, is that the right term? Conversely? I know it's a word, but I don't know if I just used it proper. Um, on the other hand, something that we may love, someone else may not. So, yeah, I mean, the, I've done pieces where everyone was in agreement that it was a fail, including myself. And if, and if, I, if I get it too dark right here, uh, when I spray this down, I'm going to spray this down with that matte spray, and I can take it, this really dark charcoal just go back over this and that, that will pop that out because I'm not going to make this as dark as this hair so we'll be I'm good just, I'm just making it to where it gives her a, a nice contrast to pop out here hey Sam sorry you had a bad week um, I'm glad we can bring you some cheer maybe brighten your day up a little bit Bowie says hello if that helps thank you Clara hello Sue so you're just like, your head's in the way, you're just dabbing that into the um, pile of just loose charcoal powder and... Yeah. Claire says, I remember, Jeff has done a few that went straight into the trash can. If you guys have followed us for long enough, you've seen him almost throw paintings out the window when we lived on the eighth floor. There are very many OGs in the group. See, so we just wipe this. Because I want the edge to stay nice and bright. I just kind of want her to be a little bit darker. And now I'm just dabbing it in areas so does charcoal just stick or did you spray any kind of adhesive on it no I just um, I did spray a little bit of that uh, matte, matte medium the first time I did it because if you if you just keep if I just keep doing that I'm just without spraying it I literally will just be putting it on there and then taking it off but, right. So it doesn't, it's not going to get any darker unless I take it really and just like throw it on there and, you know, but what I'm doing with this rag is dabbing it on and it's not, when you do that, it's just kind of on the surface a little, but you'll be able to tell how dark, a little bit darker. And if I, if I wanted to go, oh yeah. That you could totally tell now, especially yeah. from like the left side to the right side. What is that that you're using to pounce, Jeff? Just a rag with a, with a piece of tape taped around it. It's so in, inside of that rag, he like made it a little pocket. He just laid it I, out. I put, a, I put tissue in there. Yeah, I mean, it's like a paper towel. 
like a ball, and then just wrapped it around it and taped it so that it's you know nice and rounded. So you get kind of just a you're not getting just a square like there's no angles, so it just kind of blends. You could probably use an old like makeup powder puff if you have one. Yeah, I'm sure you could. I love these. I love these that those leave. Let's see, you can blow those off. That's just charcoal. It's probably coming through here. That's inside of here and coming out. So I want that to stay. So I'm going to take this matte medium. Um, Emma, I did just send out your order. Thank you for your purchase. Um, the glitter glass has to be on top of your resin. If you try to resin over your glitter glass, it's gonna take the facets and the sparkle out. It'll disappear, it has to be on top. Um, if you go ahead and sprinkle it on, when it's more fluid, rather than if it's set up for a while, the glass shards will kind of sink and settle in a little bit and lay more horizontal as the resin sets and levels it off like it resin self levels and moves as it's setting up. So if you put the uh, glitter glass on while it's doing that, before it starts to set up, um, it will start to lay flat and it's less risky if someone runs their hand across it. That being said, every time I sell a piece that has glitter glass in it, in my receipt to the client, it says this piece has raw glass on the surface this is your warning please be advised do not run your hand across it you will get cut even though they probably aren't very likely to get cut it is glass it is sharp it has the potential to cut you so i i just always have that disclaimer but um, a lot of people do like to wait later in the setting process to sprinkle it on so it has less um, it's less likely to sink into the resin but then it's also less likely to lay flat on the resin so, uh -uh. Uh -uh. it's a calculated risk that I'm willing to take, and I just I just make it clear to the clients. It's beautiful, but it is also like a cactus. All right, just put it somewhere, look at it, don't pet your cactus. Okay. Yeah, he was pretty chill. Now he is in his fan. Um, can you turn your camera just slightly and up? It's good. Perf. What a beautiful piece, just gorgeous. Thank you. What up, Gina? JJ? How? How do flies keep getting in the... Fruit flies are invading my grape juice, y'all. And I even have apple cider vinegar trap right here. I made this because I'm crafty like that. And I've caught quite a few. I don't know if you guys can see in there. The burial ground. Anyways. Like normally what, if I were to do this, I would probably use airbrush, but I don't want it to be a harsher black. I want it to be like dark black, um, and I don't want all this air, you know, I don't, I don't want it to go all over, and I don't want it to look like, like airbrush paint, like I want it to have texture like this, I want it to be, I don't want it to be soft, I want it to have some texture. Clara, this is apple cider vinegar. It is what the online Googleage said to put in it to make them in it. Yeah, there's like 10,000 little flies in there. Don't pet your cactus makes my day. There, people are wanting a don't pet your cactus shirt. Makes sense now, but. I would love for someone to have a don't pet your cactus shirt and an actual human come up to them like, what does that even mean? 
It means don't pay your cactus, Karen. Oh, your drink is running. I see, I see. Gotcha, Vamp. How do you not go through your masking and carve into your cradle? Uh, I've been doing this. I've been doing this. I've been using this kind of stuff for 20 years. Like, that's is, I've been using this stuff. Uh, and it's very thin. It's very easy to cut. So you just know right when you, 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 and these are sharp. Just, you always use a new blade so you don't have to push down. You don't, you know, you don't, you're not trying to like, you know, carve into it. You just push down and you can feel a little resistance and you know that it's cutting. And if you, if you don't and you have to go back over it, get a new blade. Don't, because that, you just risk the, uh, going through it and then cutting into your artwork or cutting your canvas or scratching it. Um, I used to use this on car hoods. Like that's how delicate I used to have to be. Like it was, it, it gets, it gets, uh, it's a little hectic. Um, but you just know, you know, if you want practice a little bit, just, just so you know that the pressure that you, you push just so that it's not going to cut your canvas. Still on to this guy. Sounds like a dirty innuendo. Don't pet your cactus. Yes, it does. It makes me like it even more. I admit, I put my Christmas cactus named Christian. I pet. Oh, I pet my Christmas cactus named Christian. It makes me uh, feel better. Sandy, if you want to pet your cactus, I'm all for it. But I have to advise against it. Legality is an etc. Does that swirly motion help to blend it better? Um, kind of. Good point, Clara. Anything delicate when using an X-Acto, always use a sharper blade. So you're not taking that dark all the way up into her hair, it's just basically, you're gonna blend it up to where her hairline is? Yeah, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'll probably come out a little bit, like soft, but I'm not, I'm not trying to make this like super dark, so. And I like those hairs hanging down like that. Uh, like that. Mm. Rachel says, Erica, I have to tell you that y'all's pup looks like, uh, reminds me of an Ewok heart face. He is a little ewok -y, aren't you? Are you a little Ewok? Do Ewoks lick things like elbows? Because exhibit A. Oh, don't fall. Jeff, what brand of easel are you using, and what are the pros and cons you like when purchasing an easel? Uh, I've had this easel for a good 10 years probably probably longer like it would have to be longer um, I, I've had it I love let me let me show you um, I hate easels that are the a-frame okay I shouldn't say hate it's a harsh one it's I'm like not a fan of an easel that you know comes to an a-frame and then it has just that little bitty resting bar um, I like a I like a frame that is going to give you support basically um, from the whole bottom and most of the back 
I mean, this is, obviously this is, if I could have this as wide, like that would be great. Like if I could have another section, just so that um, you don't get, you get zero wobble on this. Like your canvas. Wobble, wobble. Obviously with this one, it's perfect. Like it rests on the back side. So, and it's, and you can sit there. The only thing you worry about is just it going back and forth. Obviously, you're not going to be doing that. But painting, there's no other movement. Um, and it has this little piece up here so that it, this makes the top sturdy and it's not going anywhere. It's not going to back and forth. It's not going to do this wobble, wobble here. Um, and it's all the way flat down here. It has a little tray for your extra stuff. Ooh, protesters on the move. I've used, I mean, I've put huge canvases on here. Um, and it being, canvases having the, uh, we don't have any on the back of these because these are printer boards, but they have those slats normally here and one here. So you get some sort of uh, stability from these on the back of this, on the, on the back of this diesel. And then you have a bar back here that you can make the easel go backwards. Like, I haven't leaned up against this because I don't, I would have no room standing here if I had this flat on the floor. Um, thank you for the thumbs, you guys. Uh, they are palms. Bowie is on the chunkier side of the palm life. He's nine pounds. Cujo is five pounds. I don't know what that translates into in like Aussie uh, this word or even like European weight you need an E bobblehead how long before Kujo comes over screaming me too he doesn't want to come over and talk to me until we're just about done with the live feed he can always tell somehow and he is always here for it. Yeah, I like that. All right, now I'm gonna spray this one more time with this matte spray so it seals this- Kilos. This uh, session, I guess you could say, this darker session. So then when I put a little bit more over it, this will get darker and I'm not just wiping it away. Hey, Jack. Um, I may have to turn that uh, side light off. It's starting to clear a little bit. It, that that looks better. If you did just no, that, I have no light here. Is that? Do we turn that? Up? I'm gonna turn. Just a little, just just kind of a little bit, cause it'll it'll blur, it'll blow it out. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Protesters are on the movie, guys. Where are they going? Not sure. But the National Guard is out. Dallas Police is out. Irving Police is out. SWAT from everywhere is out. Um. I'm not going to show this here because I don't know the rules for YouTube and this type of things. Also, this is an art channel. I just, we're very real with you guys and what we're going through. And we like to know what you guys are going through. So, we share everything with you guys. So, I thought I would share that a little bit of my life right now. Our life right now. Um, but if you're interested in watching that, you have two devices and you want to watch this and that. I did share it on my Facebook. See, I, I would love for this to be, like I said, I've had this for at least 10 to 15 years. Um, and because there's nothing that, you know, that goes all the way up two bars, um, you get that, you get that kind of wobble. 
but it's not as bad if it were just a regular old A-frame. So if you just hold it, you can uh, deal with it there. Um, nine pounds is four kilos. I know kilos because of glitter glass, fun fact for all of y'all. Uh, rectangle cradle boards question mark we actually got some to put on the website and because of life I haven't had time to list them on the website for you guys but I do have them I'm about to make them available in the next couple of days if you're subscribed to our newsletter on the website I don't send out a whole bunch of ridiculous emails I don't blast you guys the only time I send out emails is when we get new products in or I get restocked on products or if I have a discount code for you guys, which is almost every time I get a shipment in, I'll put a special code out. So make sure you um, join us there. Debbie says, whoa, she's dark as in the emotions. Love it. Erica, you look spectacular in that blue top. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, hello, Holly. Claudia. Very proud of this protest so far, you guys. They are um, very peaceful, very clear point. Awesome. Um, yes, you can find all the paste, powders, boards, resin, tools, glitter glasses, stir sticks. Basically everything that he's not using tonight, you can find it on our website, artistsilvet.com. Um, if you use aerosols like the spray sealant or spray paint, uh, make sure that you use um, a respirator or be in a well-ventilated space and don't use it around flames. Also, don't huff it and um, try not to wear it. Oh, man. It's a good sunset. You don't even know. Like, it's like blue with super bright pink clouds. Like, the past two nights, like the past, like... Oh my god, it's beautiful. Is my camera over there? No, negative. Man, it's beautiful. If you're on the roof, man, what a great shot that would be. Here you go. Uh, is there a coupon code? I do have ATD Live right now. It is A is an apple, T is in tomato, P is, nope. <laughs> I don't know why I said P. D is in donut. Apple, tomato, donut. Apple, alpha, delta, toro. Alpha, toro, delta. Yeah. Um... Erica, what torch are you offering as an add-on for the resin pour class? So, oh, here's a dirty one. It is a propane something handheld torch. It's like that a lot of chefs use to like brulee things. You can't see it no matter where. Oh, there you go. Um, it's got... It's so fast. It goes away so fast. That's what she said. Mm. Uh, but that's the, the torch that we in, put in the class kits. By the way, if you want to be a part of our next resin class, it will be on the 25th of this month. I have the kit already live, and it will focus on negative okay. space paintings. Hey, Vanessa. This is going to be the scary part.
think I want to leave it. I don't think I want to put gold leaf on it. Ooh. What? I, heard, I saw the lights go by. They're headed towards the bridges. That was a lot of people. They're heading away from where we are, though. There they go. Wow. How many was it? Three. Not a dull moment here at Southside Home Mar. Is Jeff using a white charcoal? Yes. I was going to put some um, gold leaf, but I don't. I don't think I want to do that. I don't. I don't, I don't think I want to do that. Babe, you're not feeling it. They, this dude went from 2.1 thousand to 3.3 3 in the matter of like less than a minute. As soon as like they started moving past like police officers, people were like, oh, 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 okay. Pamela says, Jeff, I love watching you guys work. I'm just going in where I know that there's lighter parts. I'm just kind of highlighting it. Kind of making my own areas just to, of the parts that I like. Just to kind of give it some extra character or depth or whatever. Hairlines, little highlights. Oh, they can't see the hair. That was kind of a little bit too. One day we'll be able to buy the cameras that can like pivot and I can just control from like the command center. Pamela says this piece is stunning. Evelyn says I love her. Well, she will be for sale, y'all. 
Um, this is day three of protests. Four. Four, day four. They are trying to get on the interstate now, I think, or they're under the overpass. And it's all really peaceful and... Getting on the freeway is, you know, that's when you're doing something wrong and then they're, and then the police have to step in. And that's when people panic and that's when people get crazy and... I see a belly bean. So sad you and Jeff have to deal with this craziness because you live across the police headquarters. I mean, it's just part of living in like a busy city. A lot of cities are going through this and, you know, it's just part of it. I think as long as you stay safe and you're aware of your surroundings, and do what you're supposed to do. Whatever that means for you is awesome. Um, it is what it is, you know? Crazy times. Um, will you be resonating her, Jeff? I think I'm going to. Uh, unless somebody wants her like this, uh, if somebody would like to purchase her and give her a forever home, I, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I will. Um, the longer I have it, I might. I'm just worried that if I, if I do do that, if I do um, put resin on it, it might brighten it up too much. Like they made it onto the freeway. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're on the bridge. Right. Well, that's the only way they can go. <laughs> yeah, they, they literally block up. They have police on every corner downtown. Literally every intersection. Beep. Like half a dozen police. Um, Carol, we are well. Thank you for asking. She says she loves the peace. Yeah, you won't find me walking on an interstate at night, for sure. I have a question of how much. Um, I'll probably... What? They changed my feed from this dude's to like the aerial view. Like it took me out of his feed. Like I was watching that one guy that I shared, and now it's this like was probably shared. The probably chopper. His I was on his page. Um, okay, probably, it's back. That's I'll weird. Let this go. For nine hundred thousand, something like that tonight. Um, if I if it stays in, with me, and I want to, and I want to, uh, and I want to resonate. Perhaps do a test on a board to see. I forgot what what we're talking about. What are you using right now, and what are you doing? using jet black charcoal. I'm just making this area a little bit darker. Like I'm putting that um, 
texture back in here. I love it when you add those dark lines because it looks more like a study, a sketch. It looks very like organic. Yeah. Where are they? Um, what's at the end of the bridge that has the pretty stuff on it? Is it Oak Cliff? No. There's your part. What's over? What is that? What is that sound? I don't know. You know that really pretty bridge in Dallas that has the wires on it? What's at the other end of that? Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff. Um, well, that's where they're headed. Bishop Arts. They're going across the that bridge now. Like. Yeah, maybe Oak Cliff. Yeah, that's. He's saying that there's police at the end of the bridge. About to be a clash. You could do a test piece to see how it would react. So we have done a test piece to see yeah. how charcoal and airbrush and pastel. I'm not worried about how the, the react how the resin's under resin. Charcoal, it'll it'll be fine. It'll actually probably darken it up a little bit. Um, but I'm that would not actually be that. I just I just don't know if I want to give this a shine. You know, like. Jeff, has it been hard to adjust to your contacts when you art? I have to go have my eyes tested, and I'm diabetic and can't see well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's strange because up close it's a little blurry with these contacts. Um, but I don't want to put my glasses on. Because I just, I don't... I don't think that would work because then if I back up and I have my glasses on then it's going to be blurry I back up. It's kind of a... Um, They're running. They're doing something. They're, they're putting out... I see smoke so it was yeah, so probably the gas. The gas. Every time mm -hmm. something goes off, I get a, like a, are they arresting people? Not yet, but they just started like running backwards across the bridge. I'm really. Well, that's the thing. They're. That's, that's probably what I was thinking, Stacy. You guys, I'm listening to this, what's going on in my headphones and I can hear outside of our window what we're hearing on here. It's crazy. Um, so if you were to put resin on this, what would happen is the depth of the charcoal would darken and the lightness of the skin tone and that outer haze of white that he has left open would brighten. That's just an awesome like byproduct of what resin does to artwork it just it makes the depth that you have in deeper and the lightness brighter live protest by trinity grows tell you what though i'm very proud that there are no children so far on this i started shooting yeah, but shooting what? Like rubber shooting bullets or? Yeah. Oh man, I can hear that.
crazy. Isn't Oak Cliff residential? So right across the bridge going into Oak Cliff, there's a bunch of restaurants and bars and stores that were just built. Because it's, it's actually Bishop Arts, then Oak Cliff. So there's a lot of revitalization of that area. There's been a big rehab of that area like in the past few years. So Whoa. tanks. Four sets of motorcycles. I have to admit, I have been watching the art I have been, I have to admit, I have been watching the art I have been, Erica, super nervous for you all. Oh, um, if we really, truly felt like we shouldn't be here, we would leave. Yeah. We, we would, we have plenty out. of places like in Plano or in Ponder or in like Rockwall. We have somewhere where we can go. We have, we've got a lot of friends in the area that have offered to put us up to all this crazies over. It's super sad. Oh, I see, Emma. Ooh, I don't know how they stand it with those tear gas bombs. Okay, so I have just probably a dumb question. Um, maybe it's not dumb, I don't know. So. Since these protest comma riots have been going on, tear gas has been used. It's not a secret weapon. I feel like if I was going to go out there and put my safety out there, I would wear some kind of gas mask protection of some sort so that I could do what I'm supposed to do while I'm out there you know like I'm surprised no one has any serious mask on they have like just the cloth masks I have so much respect for everyone that's out there um, being part of the revolution in a proper, clear way. Which most everybody out there is today and yesterday. There are no dumb questions, you're right. No better place than your own place. Ah, that's, tr that's true. When they open up the borders, you can come hang out with us in Esperance. Did I say that right, Emma? We have the best beaches in the world. So, I don't know if you know this, but I happen to be a mermaid. And I'm always, always going to be down for going in the ocean. Um... do believe they have started the rubber bullet. Oh, you have Miss Vega? I'm very late joining and this is my first time to one of your lives, but I love your art. I appreciate being able to watch Jeff work live and hello, Erica. I love Jan. Well, hello, Miss Jan. I am so glad that you are here. Uh, let me adjust my mirror. For those that don't know, these are the boys, this is Bowie. He is a one-year-old, very jelly pants, Pomeranian. This is Cujo, my delicate flower. He is 12, he's my baby boy. Mm, I know it. Oh, sorry, beans. It's true, Pamela. Um, Jan, so welcome to the live feed. If you do have any questions or 
need any clarification or have anything you need to know, just speak up. We're, we're here to help. We just want to help everybody out there to be the best artists that they can be. The channel does appreciate all of the thumbs up. Well, hi, Beansy. Thank you, Clara. Nene said Moo is just turning 10 when she started watching. You have been with us for a long, long time, Nene. So what you doing, B? Just darkening that yeah, I'm just targeting this, this little back part here. I'm just running this charcoal over it. This is, I think, a pastel. Like, I'm going to say this is pastel. That's why it's a little bit more opaque than uh, that charcoal. Do you need to find your charcoal? It's a dark. No, 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 no. This is just like a solid black. I mean, you can see that's a lot darker than... Do you prefer using your finger to blend or one of the blendy thingy bobbers? That is a technical term. Well, yeah, I mean you can you can get with the blend with that blending stick. It's just you just get a little part. Like it's not like and you would probably be taking it off with this. I'm just moving it around. Julius and Odo say hi, boys. Well, hello, you two. They're pushing them back. Now everyone's like, walk back, walk back. Um, hey, Jeff, how is the gold leaf on your shoe holding up? You made me purchase 300 sheets, LOL. <laughs> um, well, on one part, it peeled up because um, This part peeled off because I put resin on it. Um, this is still here, but I put sizing on it just to see if it would seal it in. And it's still like, it's not sticky, but I'm sure if I took some gold leaf, it would most likely, I put gold leaf on here. This just kind of was on here to see if it would do. See that? It sticks to that. <laughs> because they're just a slightly, it's not sealed in. This is sealed in with acrylic sealer. Both of these are, uh, and it stayed. I mean, this stays, I haven't, like I haven't wore these, but it doesn't crack. Ooh, undercover, truck, another, can they see that out of this? No, it's zoomed in on her. There, it's got, um, it's just at the ground beat. You have to lower it. Okay, so if more go by, they will be able to see from there. Um, but yeah, this is good. 
this is, I would do this on some shoes. Um, this is just, uh, what do you call it? Pink pin. Woo! They have all of them out. And there's still some in the parking lot. <laughs> you look at this. Is it just getting out of hand? No. Oh god, they got them on the ground. I think they decided they were going to be on the ground. They're like, we're here to peacefully assemble to show you that we're not doing anything. We're on our face, like. Don't shoot kind yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. But I hear zip ties. Oh yeah. They're on the freeway. Yeah. Like that's, that's the thing, like, when you're causing traffic jam and you're on unlawful gathering, I guess is what it's called, like on a freeway, that's illegal. There's a thing. There's a curfew. And they were probably not going to get, they could have done their protest all night from the courthouse, nope, the jail, that they started their um, protest at, because that was outside of the curfew boundaries. But then they took it to a bridge. And I'm pretty sure that that bridge is probably in the curfew area. So at that point, there's laws broken. Jeff, have you given this piece a name? Yes. Care to elaborate? Um, it's called... My mind is my own worst enemy. I'm my own worst enemy. Well, it's, it's, it's Sure, my mind. I just didn't think you wanted to, to lengthen it. It's, it's my mind is my own worst enemy, or you could say I'm my own worst enemy, but the mind is your, your worst enemy. And that's what she, that's how I see her. That's how I, like, you couldn't tell this person anything. Like, she's in her mind, she's. She's just there, you know. She's she has she has that is like You're gonna have to raise that camera up a little bit. Um so the Angelus Eclipse sealer, you need to go back towards the left. And so you're right here. And if that's cool then that's cool. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to spray it. Um, so you use the Angelus Acrylic Sealer, right, for the yeah. shoes? Yes, Mama Lioness. Oh, hey, Molly. So she said, remember way back when Jeff hardly ever said a word and Cujo's is just eight years old? You guys have come a long, long way. We have. Did he used to have, like, a Wamerainer? Or some dog. Weimariner. Um, Weimariner. 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 <laughs> Face for your um, profile yeah. picture, Molly. I need a fan on over there. Okay. Uh, I think that's why I empathize with this piece of art. She is incredibly contemplative. That is an awesome descriptor. Yeah. It also so happens to be a line from a song given up by Linkin Park. Yeah. Which is about depression and mental illness. Love the name. That's basically what this is. It's a, it's a, it's something that, uh, <clears throat> The police are saying, um, everybody just stay calm. We're not going to hurt you. We're just enforcing the law that we have in place. Just everybody stay calm, put your hands behind your back, and this will be as peaceful. Man. Dolores, if you just reload the page, it should fix the freeze. 
Oh, is a pit boxer. Are you just standing back contemplating the? Yeah. So what are you thinking? Sky Filming said, we would pick the only bridge we can't jump off of. Not to harm themselves, but to uh, exit the arrest corral. They got caught. They got police officers down there. Huh? It's not, it's not, it is pretty far, but if you got crazy. Well, we are definitely here for you. I haven't been able to paint much, just learning because of health. I love it. It's therapeutic for a chaotic mind. It absolutely is. Art does so much for the soul, I think. I think it helps people get past physical limitations, like rehabilitation style and mental uh limitations also rehabilitation style um there's just something to be said about getting your feelings out I think I'm done. and onto a surface or written down or making music you think you're done I mean, the only thing I might want to do is just do that sizing with just one stripe. Just I can really see that because it's just so like... But then again, emptiness is kind of part of... Yeah. But then you could put it there and say there's beauty and... I don't know. We're all here for whatever it is you decide. Sharon, I think most everyone in this group has um, pets that they love. So there could very well be another one Rainer parent in the room. If I was in this situation that was on the bridge, I'd be like edging towards the back of the group, just like, dude, I hope you guys just run out of handcuffs before you get here. Knowing that's absolutely ridiculous. Vamp, you are creating some amazing pieces. Love critters in general, not particular breeds. Agreed. Yeah, I hope y'all are okay with all that's going on in your area. Lots of activity across the street. Stay safe. We are not leaving the house. We are abiding by said laws that are being put out right now. Um, like it. It's not like super out there. We support the peaceful protesters that are out there, but... We're going to do it from where we're supposed to be for now. Evelyn says, sleep on it. Look at it with fresh eyes. He's been looking at this piece for a while. 
And you just hop on it. It's like real. Yeah. You need to lay your skin. We will stay where they're told to stay and stand where they're told to stand only at this time and in this way. Is it really a protest? I don't like the violence and property destruction, but I get it. Oh, dude, I totally get it. And this is how change is made. And it's absolutely... I can't... I am all for people standing up for just basic civil liberties and just not being murdered or however you guys want to look at it. I'm not getting into anything political. Um, I just am in a position right now where I'm going to do it from afar. It's right on your face. Um, it needs to go up. Up. Good bit. You're at the nose. So that, that is good. Yeah, you're, it's perfect. Bye, Clara. Lori said, I imagine your commission pieces are a bit expensive. Hi, baby, Mish. You just scooted backwards like. <laughs> that was funny. I don't even know what. Um, Lori said, I imagine your commission pieces are a bit expensive. Um, it depends on what you want and how big. I'll it, probably sell this for probably... This is a really big piece. Like, It'll probably be in the 900s, maybe 1,000, um, if somebody's interested in this. Okay, Cujo. All right. <laughs> Um, it almost looks from here because of the texture of your dabber thing to like she's on the moon. On the moon. Like, because it's round and it has like that hammered look. I mean, I just like blinked and it looked ah. moony. Everyone says that they absolutely love it. I can't stop looking at this piece. It's so moving. I find myself wondering how I could reach out to help her. I feel such empathy. She is very haunting. Yeah, that's that's why I chose it. I think you need to give a close up because it just you can't really see all the detail. Jack says that absolutely love the artwork. Just stay safe over there thinking about you guys from Australia. Ow! Ooh, girl cat. Sue said she's mine if I win the lottery tonight. Fingers crossed. Did you want to give a close-up of her? Because you can't really... It's fine. We'll do a true color video. Katie Puppy Boxing. It's going to be our next live video. many cops are out right now that are going there that's not even out in the city it's like she's fighting hard to break free from her own mind you can actually feel it in the piece wow how big is big sister 30 inch round question mark yes she is it 30 or 36 30? I don't think we have a 36 I have a 30 is that not a measuring thing right there? No, well, it is, but I can't see any. 15, 16, this is what, 18 inches? She's gorgeous. She almost looks like a period, a period piece. So, 
15 is here. That's fair, Linda. 15. Beautiful, just stunning, stunning. Hauntingly beautiful. Is it really a 36 inch round? I've, I've been seeing 30. She's 36. Holy cow. She is three feet um, round. Okay. Um, so yeah, she is quite large. She's quite beautiful. There's so many things when you look at her in person that draw your eye into different parts of her that aren't really that evident. Like when he did this like white scrapes of paint in the beginning. Um, if you guys want to see a full process video of this, I can't help you because I didn't film it. However, if y'all ask real nicely, he may film the next one. Very peaceful yeah. right now. Um, her body language is what captured my heart. Well, she's available. So glad my brother retired, right? I love her, but it took me so long to pay off the other paintings. So it is what it is. That seals it, 1K and up. That was JJ. And the clear anguish that's in her face is amazing. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, think, think, thanks. Me too, but I bet you uh, Grubhub is not delivering right now. <laughs> Jeez, Bowie! Wow, wow, wow. What's the request, Shane? I'll probably film the next one. Oh, yeah. It's just, when I film stuff, like, it rarely, I rarely film it from start to finish, and, I, and it's finished. Um, I, would, I would have to keep setting up the camera, recording it, remember to turn it off. Um, it's so dark. Why is that so dark? Why does it look bright on there? This is a different camera angle. You click overhead camera, double click that down there. Oh. No, right, yeah. And just brighten it up a little bit. Film. Yes, love it. I got ramen and sushi from Grubhub tonight. So good. I may make some ramen. Mm -hmm. you to see you? Night vamp. Night vamp. So there she is. This hair right here is like darker than the rest of it. I love her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Like in the pic, the photo, it just looks extra. Yeah. Still, same. I put a little white. On it's it. better. But that don't matter in there. It's no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm not going to pick that up. 
Is oh. that canvas or silk screen? Lori asks. For what? That you're drawing on. No. What? I'm just letting you know that the question was canvas or silk screen. It's actually a wooden cradle board. Can you show the back wooden, of it? Wooden cradle board that we sell. Hey. You can actually so. find them on our website, artisttilldeath.com. Broadcast interrupted. Womp womp. That's what it looks like on the back. Nice and sturdy. While I have her up here, this Are you gonna do the thing? Here you go. I'm gonna do the thing. Okay. Okay, that's gonna <laughs> I don't know, but you can use this to start it. Who oh, no. Monica says, the more I look at her, the more I want to cry, just from the emotion she is feeling. Um, next comment is, Jeff, you are so talented. JJ said, Popo's trying to provide mood lighting. Super true. What's up, Janine? How are you doing? No, we aren't caught up in the right. Well, I'm watching, but no, we're, we're not part of that. I'm surprised King isn't live. His wife's probably like, we ain't going out there today. <laughs> Not today, son. But you did that yesterday? You had a chance to leave? Yeah, you got... That's what, but that's, that's what it's all about. If you're positive and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, um, and you don't, you don't comply, then it's gonna be a different situation. Thank you so much, Shane. Um, so what he's doing is he is heating up our hand brand and we put these on the back of our board pieces. There are more people there than I thought there were. So you can find, the, we actually ordered this one off Amazon and you can, this one does not have an electrical element in it because we're a artist on a budget, but you can get them that heat themselves up so you don't have to just torch them like Jeff is doing. This one has a protective wooden handle so that the bar that comes from the brand back to where he's holding it won't heat up on him. Linda said he's making it hot, hot, hot. Muy en fuego. Are you looking at me? No, when you're done. brand looks so tiny. <laughs> it's like boop. So they were letting them go up the bridge, but when they started coming down the other side is when they were outside of the curfew area and that's when they started to detain.
sounds good, Sue. fancy lettering on the back of this and everything. Where am I going to walk the boys? You think they'll get mad at me if I walk them out front? crazy they're being very docile I'm just saying like they just oh, yeah. like boop, that they couldn't just imagine all those people in the freeway it's bananas all right y'all meaning like in their cars like at the other end oh yeah So I hope you enjoyed the video tonight. We definitely enjoyed painting with you. Are you writing the name of the piece on the back? He wrote on the back, Artist Till Death 2020. I would be surprised if he did write the name of the piece on the back simply because he hardly ever names. Well, he names his um, paintings a lot of the time. We don't name a lot of our... Yeah. Uh, we don't name a lot of the poor pieces but we will name he names a lot of his painting paintings it's true linda well we have this like on property little turf dog relief area in the back of the building that i'll probably take them thank you holly what baby Nick? That's the word you're looking for earlier, B. Uh, they're, vi they're violating the curfew and they're violating the passageway laws. W-O-R? Huh? W-O-R? S-T? Worst? W-O-R-S-T. Bye, Allie. Gina said E should not be going out alone with the boys. So... While it may sound scary to live across the street from the police station, it's not a jailhouse. It's like just the headquarters where investigations are made. They do uh, book people in over there sometimes, but this is not like a jail. This is like the investigatory building. And it is as safe as could be considering here. Because E N. Well, now I'm second guessing myself. I think it's E N E M Y. Uh, but so yeah. He moon knows that it's almost time. You guys can hear him. Thank you, Evelyn. Uh, gotcha, Sue. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, my own worst enemy is now written on the back of the piece. Uh, we will not be going anywhere tonight. I do have to leave to let the boys go. P O T T Y. 
But other than that, I will, we will be staying inside. So. Ready? Time has come. They're ready to go. Thank you, Nene. Uh, so thank you so, so much for tuning in seeing what we're up to today. Please read all of these things and join us in ATV's Poor People. If you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to ring the bell so you hear um, a notification every time that we do go live or post a video. We try to go live every day. We answer every question we can because we love to help you guys to be better artists for yourself. Uh, please be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through, especially in these times. Y'all, it is crazy out there. Careful, one one love, love one another, be creative. I'm waiting on your next clap. Did clap was the last clap? And bye. <laughs> uh, if you need any resin stuff, you can get it on our website, artistilldeath.com, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. It is Tuesday, so we'll be going live at 2 p.m. Central Dallas, Texas, United States of America, Milky Way Universe time. But till then, we love you all so, so much. Thank you for everything. Bye. Oh, it's I said bye.